It is this property located in Nairobi's Ngong area that has triggered a controversy pitting, on one hand, the Green Africa Foundation and the Kenya Forest Service against Actis, a private equity firm that is responsible for the construction of the Nairobi Business Park. The Green Africa Revolution, in a letter to the Ministry of Environment, Water and Natural Resources, through its Cabinet Secretary, Judy Wahungu, noted the following. There has never been, been a gazettement, degazettement of forests, that is one. The construction is illegal, that is two. It is, uh, the license was issued irregularly. Citizen TV spoke to the Cabinet Secretary on phone and in response to the said land, she said, and I quote, Yes, we have received several complaints about it from various stakeholders, but I am yet to make a visit there physically, which I plan to do with my colleagues from NEMA, end quote. NEMA, in a letter dated the 21st of August 2013 to the CEO of the Jockey Club, says, and I quote, The authority hereby directs that you stop any further activities until these issues are addressed, end quote. So, what are the issues? Well, Actis on its part claims to have a court ruling to the effect that the land was duly and rightfully acquired. In a letter dated 20th August 2013 to the Principal Secretary Richard Lesiampe, they say, quote, The action of KFS, that is the Kenya Forest Service, sends a very negative message to investors, end quote. Our courts, to be very keen also, to listen from both parts, of, of, from both parties of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of the aggrieved, especially on matters of land and matters of environment. We visited the state land. There clearly existed a conflict as there are approvals from various bodies, including NEMA and the Ministry of Lands to Build. And also documents in Citizen TV's possession also now show that NEMA had initially approved the construction of this building as shown in this document. Don't, uh, do, two wrongs don't make a right. And therefore we cannot sit and wait to see our forest being uh, being uh, excised uh, one after the other. However, days after the new NEMA directive was issued stopping construction, it still continues on the land and the engineer in charge said he was in order when we placed a call to him. Uh, but meanwhile, you confirm that you do have uh, all the, uh, the, the documents that are required. Are you confirming that? Yeah, okay, okay, no problem. No problem, eh? Environmentalists opine that in any one-acre piece of land, 1,000 trees exist. This is in the Gone Forest. So for this parcel of land, approximately two acres, to be clear for construction, it means about 2,000 trees were cut down. In 2010, President Kibaki opened the Prime Business Park. Now The dispute has its roots in colonial Kenya when the British government offered the Jockey Club land in Gong Forest in exchange for property that is the present-day Karyokor area in 1927, ahead of the plot being demarcated as a forest zone in 1964. So where does the buck stop? And just what will be done to conserve the environment? Right, so as you can see behind me, that is a tree stump. Evidence that at least one tree has been cut down. According to environmentalists, that is one tree too many. So Green Revolution is on one side and Actis is on the other. The middle ground is the environment. Willis Soburu, Citizen Live at 9 in Nairobi.